Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, welcome, this is going to be a sewing one. And if you're a regular viewer, then the reason why I'm looking so different is I haven't got glasses on. I've just got a horrible overhead light and I just had massive shadows from my glasses underneath. I just looked really strange, so I've had to take them off and I can't see you at all, so sorry if I look a bit like vague in your direction. Um, it does mean I can use my ring light though without having to worry about reflections, which is quite cool. Anyway, straight on to it. Today's project is making cloaks. So it's a bit different from my usual fancy dresses. I've got a whole collection of vintage velvet curtains, which I absolutely adore. When we moved here, I just got an obsession. Every single window has got with velvet curtains at it. And then I didn't stop buying them. So I've ended up with a few more than I actually need in the house. So I did actually make a couple of these a couple of years ago and I was really pleased with how they turned out so I'm gonna have a go now with this lot here I might not actually use that fabric for a cloak we'll see but I'm definitely gonna use those two and definitely this peach one I'm not sure you can see and the brown and the red and the blue here so this is the pattern I'm going to be using it's Butterick B4377 I'm guessing this is fairly old I can't remember where I got it from probably eBay but that's the cloak there that's being used as wedding cloak in this design and that's more or less the pattern I'm going to be using although I made quite a few tweaks to it I think I've made notes in my Oshun book so that'll be I'll be referring to those as well the main difficulty I had last time was how thick the fabric was so I really like the hood on this one it's a really nice full round hood this to me feels more sort of proper old-fashioned fairy tale right so let's get started what color should i go with this is all vintage cotton velvet and oh it's just so soft and smooth i love vintage velvet it's just gorgeous A little change of scenery I've come into the dining area of our kitchen because I didn't have space on the floor in my workroom to spread out the whole of the cloak at once to match up the lining to it so I've come out here to just make it a little bit easier actually um, I had a few difficulties sorting out the right tension and the right l stitch length if you're having a go with making one yourself then go high on the tension and long on the stitches because that made it just so much easier the only mistake I made was when I was under stitching the lining in the hood I forgot 
it was like a rookie error i forgot to change the color of the thread because the lining is black and honestly the outer bit is brown um yeah this bit that was stitching here i did with brown and i had to unpick that and do it again with black that was the only problem that i had i'm pleased with that cloak so i shall crack on now and get on with the next one so my next cloak is going to be this gorgeous navy blue um cotton velvet it is a stunning color it's one of those bits of fabric that i think oh dear can i really cut into this but yes i am going to do it <laughs> I've got 10 all together, all slightly different. Even though I think we've got two in the same pale blue, we've got three in a peachy pink, 
and two green but they're of course because they're made of reclaimed fabrics there are going to be differences if you are in the market for a cloak um, please look at all the descriptions and measurements because they're they do vary a little bit and for example this one here is a bit longer than the other blue one so um, they do vary however they are adjustable width wise if you have a smaller frame this is on a plus size mannequin at the moment so if you have a smaller frame than this then they can be pulled with the ribbons and these little leather sort of leaf shaped pieces lock it into place so you don't need to adjust it every time you put it on it will be just right for you so if you would like to purchase it then when you get it adjust it to place maybe put a little knot in the ribbon and then you're good to go it will fit you perfectly obviously if you're wider then just have, have less gathers around the back of the shoulders a couple of other things to point out because if you are looking for a cloak you may be going to some shops i live near glastonbury and a few shops that sell velvet cloaks but i would like to point out <laughs> without being too salesy that all of those i've seen are of quite lightweight cheap polyester whereas my cloaks are of a really high quality cotton velvet and they just feel so much softer to the touch they're also much heavier and thicker so they will keep you warm also you'll get that lovely swish that you probably want with your cloak another thing to note if you are looking which you may not have thought about but things like I've sewn the cloak in such a way that the lines of stitching are not visible on the outside of the cloak and under stitched to keep the lining from flapping out and also it avoids having that annoying line of stitching that you don't want around your hood you, you just want that nice and neat it's sort of those little touches that i feel make these a little bit different a little bit higher quality having said all that i haven't actually priced my cloaks much more um, than the ones you might find in online shops or in sort of interesting shops i suppose because it has to be said that the fabric was being a really nice velvet um, there might be flaws because it is vintage so for example on this one there is a slight more fading on this side than there is on that side you know nothing that i think will detract it from the overall effect of what i hope will look like a really beautiful cloak so yeah because the fabric is vintage that's the sort of thing you should be aware of in this case they're obviously not all like that so please do read the descriptions of each one in the shop by the way they'll be going in ocean occasions on etsy but i will link the put the links below and of course if you have any questions do send me an email and i'll be happy to answer <music>